Hey guys, uh, welcome to another of my reviews. Today I will show you the EQ6R mount, just the head, no tripod, that I will be using to install on my Roloff Observatory, which I describe in some of my uh, posts on my blog. I just got this a few days back, but I didn't have time to open them. Uh, they came from uh, Germany, from Telescope Service. They arrived uh, immediately, um, very fast, uh, with the UPS service in just uh, three days. It was really fast. And they are in pristine condition, the boxes. Let's open them. So these are the uh, two boxes that I got. I think this contains the mount, just the head. It's quite heavy. I think it has about 20, uh, 20 plus kilos. And the smaller one, I think, contains some of the accessories, including the um, counterweights and uh, maybe the tray and uh, some other things that it will discover immediately. So, uh, let us uh, open them. All right. Does it have an up position? Yeah. Do not drop. Okay. Let's see. It looks. I've been wanting this. I have an EQ5, but obviously that uh, that is insufficient for the things I want to put on my observatory. So this is the instruction manual, and some foam here to protect it. And here it is. So we've got, let's see what we've got here. We've got some, uh, these are the cables, I think. So the, the cable for the power, it's a car uh, adapter. Uh, some other cables here, I'm not sure for what. I think this is for the remote. This is the remote here, the SIN scan remote. And what is this here? Uh, all right, some uh, some things to. This is a uh, hexagonal screw and uh, some cables. Oh. We'll see what these are for in a second. What else do we have here? So we have this. I think this is the... Hmm. I actually don't know what this is. metal rod for something. I think it's the bar, is it? I think it's the bar for the counterweights. Probably. And this screws in the mount and here you sh we should have another piece that uh, acts like a safety prohibiting the counterweight to drop if, if it's not tightened enough. Uh, I think it's that one, I'm not sure. Uh, we've got some bits here, some screws. This is These are the um, altitude and azimuth screws, probably. 
that fit here. And this is a nice holder for the remote. This is something I didn't have for my EQ5 uh, scene scan. And I kind of missed it because I always had to put the remote on the tray or, or leave it hanging. Uh, I didn't like that, but apparently they, they made it uh, for this one. Well, anyways, my, my EQ5 scene scan is, is over 10 years old, so in the meantime they uh, improve the delivery a bit. This is the mount. We can see here this is the latitude control. So it's set for, uh, I believe this is for uh, 30. So we are at uh, 46. So I'll need to adjust the this. This is the level. It's for keeping the uh, mount horizontal. Um, these are the uh, declination and the right ascension markers and these are the locks for the right ascension and declination should be one for the declination as well somewhere uh, the mount has a uh, a handle this is very good and as you can see this is the version with the USB now as, as far as I read um, you need to be careful when you when it's powered uh, you can um, damage the motors uh, if if um, uh, if you do something wrong so we, this is the combination between this being plugged and having power or, or, or turning it on with this or with, I don't remember exactly what it is but I know you need to be careful about uh, these things uh, obviously hand control this is where the remote comes and this is the auto guide for the uh, software it doesn't have a uh, DC 12 volts power um, it, did, it doesn't come with that I don't have one I, ha I have a 12 volt but it doesn't have this special uh, pins here it's, it's something different it's for the EQ5 uh, but I'll, I'll uh, get one either way so let's uh, let's try to pull it out Heavy. Oh. oh yeah, it's a big boy. It's a very big boy. It's very heavy. I think it has about 20. You can do some nice biceps uh, with this thing here. It's sturdy. It's good. Uh, just Put it here. I always look at these details when when I when I uh, buy these. Um, if you remember my review on the um, Solar Quest, uh, it had all sorts of uh, scratches and and, and s spots here. This one also has a few scratches. Uh, You know, it's it's understandable. I mean, these things are mass produced, and uh, look here, for instance. You see uh, this bit here, uh, here as well. Well, yeah, th these things are mass produced, and they're assembled in mass, and of course they need to work. I mean, a few scratches here and there. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I mean, but they do cost a lot. And obviously you're not buying them to look nice, you're buying them to work properly. But anyways, I would say that for the price that you're paying, uh, and given that they're, uh, you know, made uh, in China, and it's uh, quite cheap to, to assemble them there, they could pay more attention to these details. You know. Okay, so...
this is pretty much it this is the uh, mount it's big uh, and I do believe I will need to play a bit with the uh, cemented pier that, that I have in my observatory because I think this doesn't fit so I'll need to raise a bit the roof uh, I can do that I already checked if I can do it but in the meantime that's not the point for today's recording let's, let's have a look at the this these things here Okay, so, yeah. yeah, this is not that well protected, I guess it's all metals and uh, definitely the two weights in here. Uh, so, uh, I won't take them out, I just want to check that they're here and that they are in good good shape. Yeah, here is the first one. Uh, these are, these are uh, not 5 kilos exactly, I think they're 5.1 kilos or something. Let's take one out. Yeah. I actually lost one of mine for the EQ5. I only have one left, but I, I, I used the EQ mount, uh, the scene scan one with um, with um, an ED80 Skywatcher scope. So uh, and then some some cameras. It was enough to to hold, to balance it. So this is the second one. All good. So. Uh, I also like the fact that they use now these this this foam. Uh, they used to have those that polyester uh, thingy, you know, the one that you use to isolate buildings, uh, to insulate buildings. Uh, that uh, would crack easily, uh, but this this foam is is much better. All right, so this is the mount. Uh, and here is the, um, well, this is where you put it on the pier, and this is where you fix it. Uh, and the guys at uh, TS told me that I need a uh, um, T12 threaded bar to, um, to go with this. They didn't actually tell me the, the size of the threaded bar. Uh, I bought one with a plastic um, head so that it can be easily, uh, easily used to uh, screw it in and fix it. It's seven centimeters long. I also didn't have any idea how long it should be. Uh, I can cut it, obviously, uh, to fit this and also the um, adapter itself. I have a Lacerta adapter for EQ6 and EQ8. Okie dokie, so uh, this is it. So uh, just the mount, no tripod. I didn't need any tripod. Uh, it was um, about 100 euros cheaper than with a tripod and um, it's quite heavy. And the next thing I'll do, I will install it and I'll show you how it looks installed all right guys so uh, this is the threaded bar the t12 and I got this on Amazon it, it's like nine pounds um, and this is to be screwed here fix the head mount 
to the adapter. So it comes like this. This one goes here. Okay, it's a bit long, isn't it? Look at this. All the way here. And I'm not sure how far uh, it goes. So I just want to put this one, uh, put the uh, mount here and see how it is. Okay, so uh, this is not the final position. It's, uh, I'll need to cut a bit uh, more to fit under the roof, but just want to see how the mount looks on this. Now the first thing I, f I noticed is that this Lacerta adapter has various uh, holes drilled in it. Now this is an EQ6, EQ8. It, it doesn't say when it comes, it doesn't come with an instruction manual. It doesn't say which are for which. So um, I just assume that these two here uh, are for the EQ6 and they should point north. Uh, now the thing is that if I have this one here, the, 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 the mount does not fit because this blocks it. So I had to move this screw from here to here so that the mount fits. Now, I should be able to install the mount. Even if it doesn't fit, I can also drill another hole uh, closer here. I think the role for this bit here is to act as a, a marker for the north so that you can use the uh, alt the um, adjustment uh, towards the uh, north pole. And um, let me just show you. It's this bit here, you see? Uh, this part here, right? So this is where that should fit. And then you have two screws here that you uh, rotate, uh, you use to slightly adjust left, right, uh, the orientation of the mount so that you polar align it. You can only do this once. Once you've done this, you don't need to do it again. Um, and obviously this is the altitude. Um, and I'm not sure about this one. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's install the mount. Okay, so the next thing I realize is that I believe this one should be upright because it doesn't actually, uh, it doesn't go all the way uh, here and when you when you will use the adjustment knots here it won't have any effect. So the second thing I noticed is that this threaded bar is too long. So this is the maximum you can get. It's like a centimeter uh, maybe slightly more uh, out. So uh, I will need to cut it uh, a bit. Right, so uh, anyways, uh, this is the mount. It, it slightly moves uh, because it's not fixed, but it won't fall. It's, uh, it's well balanced. Slightly. Oops, my head just hit the door. So uh, this is how it looks. It's actually kind of cool. If you think about it, you remember I told you that when I inserted this in the cement it actually looked like you were playing with a warp drive in Star Trek. Uh, it actually looked cool to insert these in, in, in the wet cement. Uh, now the beast is almost complete. It only waits for a telescope and a final uh, position here. Now, you can see here that the roof is slightly uh, uh, too low. Uh, 
compared to this one when it's in the upright position. Now I don't plan on using it like this, so the parking position for this will actually be like this, you see? So if 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 you if you rotate it down all the way here, you actually win some space. And you don't need to uh, play that much with the roof. And when you further take it down by cutting a bit from the rods here, uh, that will make it even better because I won't have to uh, increase the height of the uh, roll-off roof, which, to be honest, I'm not looking forward to it because it's quite heavy and to take this beast down and, and, and increase its height, it will be a killer. I don't want to do this. Okay, so obviously this one needs to point north. North is that way. Uh, and all I need to do now is double check if this needs to stay upright. So I'll take this down, move this upright and test it again to see if it should be visible in here in this one because um, I should be able to orientate this a bit by screwing these horizontal nuts here uh, and they should be f positioned against this bit here. Uh, so this should go upright. So this is a minus for, for the Lacerta adapter. When it comes, it doesn't come with any instructions. You know, you kind of need to guess what you need to do. Okay, so there you go. I moved this a little bit up. And as you can see, you can no longer see through this. So this means this is in the right position. Now, obviously, this is not leveled. I'm not sure if you can actually see and if, if it focuses on on the level um, and another thing is that let's screw this all the way I just measured this guy it's uh, 1.5 centimeters um, from here so I'll, I'll cut 1.5 centimeters uh, and that should allow it to screw all the way here this is the Uh, altitude, the latitude actually, um, adjustment, and then I think the way it works is that you unscrew this, you screw this, or, or you screw this, unscrew this, depending on whether you want to go up in latitude or uh, down. Um, I'll just leave it like this for the moment. Actually, no, I won't leave it like this because it needs to be set for the for this latitude because it impacts the height of the overall mount. I need to know this exactly for the roof. All right, so here it is. This is the best I could do so that when I unscrew this, uh, I can still take the head off and what I discovered is that you need a six centimeter long threaded bar. So not including this plastic thingy, just the metal bar. It needs to be six centimeters. Um, and I also added this, uh, not sure if you can see this ring here, uh, metallic ring. I don't want a plastic to um, apply pressure on this steel uh, disc and I've set it up for the correct latitude and also insert the azimuth rods now as you can see it's not perfect it has some scratches that's fine um, and this is going to be the parking position for it um, so the scope will be horizontally placed here. What this means is that so the, the north is that way. So basically when um, when I will do the polar alignment I will align it with the north. Uh, 
uh, that way and I lowered this as much as I could as I said I cut a large piece of this from uh, from the initial Lacerta adapter so I, I needed to cut them to lower this as much as possible to fit under this roll-off roof now I actually wonder if there was a, a little bit of a screw here. I never saw this. Uh, and one here. Maybe it's in the... No, it's not here. Maybe it's somewhere in the box. I also uh, place this so that it's horizontal as you can see. Now I still need to lift the roof a bit uh, just to be able to finish this. But this was because I uh, initially when I designed this concrete pier. I miscalculated and forgot to add this thing, the Lacerta adapter. Had I done that, it would have been lower till here and this would have fit perfectly. But this means I need to raise the roof by this much, basically. This is not much, it's like uh, 20 Not even 20 centimeters, it's uh, 14 centimeters. I'll raise it a little bit more than that uh, because I want uh, it to accommodate tubes larger than 200 millimeters. I will do that later. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching.